Hi, second graders. I am Ms. Diorio from Citizenship Academy, and we are moving on to lesson nine in module two. This is the second to last lesson in module two. Crazy. You're doing awesome. Okay, so our objective for today is to measure lengths of string using measurement tools and use tape diagrams like we've been drawing in our word problems to represent and compare lengths. So that's going to help us a lot when we work on figuring out a shorter length versus a longer length and how much shorter and how much longer and so on and so forth. So what we're going to start with today is I'm going to give you a number, a length. What I want to know is what is 10 more centimeters than that, than that length. So one way to do that is to think about your groups of 10. So if I have the number 45 and I want to add 10 to that, I know that my ones place stays the same. And I'm just adding another 10 stick. I'm just adding another 10. So I'm just going to add another 10 to 40 and I get 55. Sorry, my marker's dying a little bit. But when you add 10, you're not changing the ones place at all. You're just adding a tens to the tens place. So 45 plus 10 more centimeters is 55 centimeters. So I'm gonna give you a second to think about the answer and then I want you to say it out loud. You don't need to write a number sentence, any of that stuff this time. Just want you to give, give your brain a second to think about it and tell me 10 more than the length I give you. So if I give you a length of 51 centimeters, what is 10 more centimeters than that? Again, think about just changing your tens place. 51 centimeters plus 10 centimeters is 61 centimeters. The ones place didn't change. Our tens place just went up a group of 10. Good job. All right, try this one. 10 more than 63 centimeters. What would that be? Good. 73 centimeters. Awesome. 10 more than 76 centimeters. Remember, just changing the tens place. Good. 86 centimeters. Awesome. 10 more than 87 centimeters. 97 centimeters, good. All right, don't get tricked on this one. 10 more than 98 centimeters. Think about what the next 10 is gonna be. 10 more than 98, it's going to be 108. If you look at this number, there are 10 tens and eight ones, which is one more 10 than nine tenths. All right, good job with that. All right, let's move on to our word problem for today. Here we go. Richard's sunflower is nine centimeters shorter than Oscar's. Richard's sunflower is 75 centimeters tall. How tall is Oscar's sunflower? I want you to think and I want you to find somebody at home to talk to and figure out, talk about whose sunflower is shorter. Whose sunflower is the shorter sunflower? And how do you know? Go. What do you think? Richard's sunflower is shorter. If we look at the first line of this word problem, it says Richard's sunflower is nine centimeters shorter than Oscar's. So Oscar's is bigger than Richard's. So we have Richard's at 75. Are we gonna add this nine or are we gonna subtract the nine? Let's use a tape diagram to figure it out. So. Richard Sunflower, we know, is 75 centimeters tall. It says that in our problem. 75 centimeters. Good. Now, Oscars is going to be longer than 95, 75 centimeters because Richard's is shorter. So we have to add this 9 centimeters onto Oscars because we know, sorry, that was my dog. We know Oscars is shorter. So Os Oscars is longer, I'm sorry. We're going to add those nine on to Oscar's sunflower. Very good. So we know Richard is 75, but we need to figure out Oscar's. So let's just 
add those together. Pause the video and finish solving this problem for me. You got it? Okay, what's our first step? Good, we're gonna make a 10. So we have 75 and we're gonna add five to get a 10, which is gonna get us 80. They skipped that step. And then we're gonna add those eight, those four extra ones in to get 84. So our answer is 84. And what does the 84 mean? Is it 84 monkeys? 84 bananas? No. It means that Oscar Sunflower is 84 centimeters tall. Awesome job. All right, here we go. Today we're going to measure a red string and a blue string. However, I don't have enough space in this video screen and I don't have a board, so I can't really tape those up for you, but I will draw you a picture and I'll show you the picture I drew. So I measured them for you. My red string was three meters. My blue string was five meters. So you can't even see it. <laughs> what does this kind of look like to you, this picture? Yeah, it kind of looks like a tape diagram, right? Kind of like the one we just did for Oscar and Richard. So, we can use this tape diagram to answer questions about the lengths of the string. Like, for example, how much string do I have all together? I want you to pause and write me a number sentence to show me how much string I have all together. What did you get? We have three meters plus five meters equals eight meters. That's how much string I have all together. Now we can also use this to find the difference between the strings. So if I have one string that's five meters and one string that's three meters, I can use that to find the difference between the two lengths of string. I want you to tell me how much longer the blue string is than the red string. Go ahead and write that number sentence and solve. Unpause when you're ready. What did you get? Good. I took the three meter, the five meters minus three meters, and I got two meters. So the blue string is two meters longer than the red string. Then I wanted to continue measuring, and things that are round are kind of hard to measure with a ruler right or with even like centimeter cubes or any of that so we can use a string so i measured the length around my wrist and my head using a string and then i took them out and i wrote the length and i measured them with a meter stick so i took a string went around my head and around my wrist and then i laid them out and measured them. so i'm going to show you the lengths so these are the lengths i got again we can set it up like a tape diagram what I want you to figure out using this tape diagram is how much longer my head is compared to my wrist. I'll show you the subtraction problem that we're going to use to solve. We know that my head is longer, so we're going to take the length of my head and subtract the length of my wrist to find this length right here, to find the difference between the two lengths. So go ahead and solve 57 minus 16. I will give you that setup, that decomposing. Pause the video and solve that, and then come back when you're ready. Ready? So they broke 57. They decomposed 57 into a group of 10 and the extra ones. So we know that this is an easier fact to solve. So we can do 20 minus 16, and we know that that's 4 because we know our 10's facts. Then we're going to take the extra number over here, which is, yep, 37, add it to 4, and our answer is 41. So the difference between my head and my wrist is 41 centimeters. My head is 41 centimeters longer than my wrist. So we can use tape diagrams to help us better understand the difference in lengths between two objects. Okay. So, your, we're going to skip this one, your problem set for today only has three questions. Easy peasy. The first one, you're going to use this chart. The question says, what is the difference between the actual shortest and longest measurements? So here we have our friend Mia. She estimated and she used actual measurements. 
I want you to use the actual measurements, okay, to find the difference between the shortest and the longest. So you're going to use this column. And then after that, you're going to use this information. Sean and Steve had a contest to see who could jump farther. Sean jumped 75 centimeters. Steve jumped nine more centimeters. You're going to set up a tape diagram just like we did in our lesson. And you're going to solve for how far did Steve jump. Okay, we've been working hard on those. Set up your tape diagrams. Set up your number sentence and solve. You can do this. And then I want to know who won. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Have fun.